Okay, so problem number two is the even Fibonacci numbers problem. And before we start this, um, you should know what Fibonacci numbers are. And Fibonacci numbers are a sequence of numbers that start with one and two as the first two terms. And each term is basically, um, so n equals uh, n minus two plus n minus one. So that's how it works. So for example, um, the third term here would be three, which is one plus two. So that's three right here then the next term is going to be 2 plus 3, which is 5. The next term is going to be um, 3 plus 5, which is 8, and so on. So each term in the Fibonacci sequence is basically the, the previous two terms added together. And what we have to do is, in this problem, um, we'll have a number that we take in, which is n, and we have to basically um, add, we have to f figure out the Fibonacci sequence up to the value n, take all the even numbers from that sequence and then sum them together and return that answer. And this is the function that we're going to be implementing and it's called FIBO even sum. So let's do that right here. So I'll say let um, FIBO even sum equals, and then we have a limit, I guess. So our sequence of Fibonacci numbers can't go above this limit right here. And I'm just gonna have something here like console.log um, result is and um, let's just do it with the first example value which was 8 or 10 actually let's go with 10 and it should return 10 like this okay so that's our number right that's our function written out right there so the first clue of how we can start this is we know that it we need to return the sum right here so the first thing we want to do is initialize a variable for sum and I'm just going to initialize this to zero because it's, it should, all sums should start out with zero. And we can return the sum right here. And then during the program, what we'll do is we'll add um, numbers into the sum and then the sum will get bigger. So if I were to uh, run this program, so if I do node demo.js, right now we should see that result is zero is what gets returned. So um, in terms of the Fibonacci sequence or generating it, what we can have is we can have three variables to do this. So we can say let um, uh, let A, let B, and let C like this. So A and B will start off as one and two, and at each time what we'll do is we'll say C equals A plus B, and then move A and B along. So for example, if we start off with one and two being A and B, we'll have C equals three, and then what we'll do is we'll do um, B equals A, so we'll move A, so two will be A, and then we'll have C equals B, so three will be B, and then C will be equal to a two plus three, and so on. So what we wanna do is firstly, we wanna initialize um, a and B to the first two terms, which are one and two. So we want A to be equal to one, and we want B to be equal to two, like this. And um, you might notice that already we have an even number to add to the sum. So what we want to do here basically is say that if um, if the limit or the upper value that we receive is greater than two, then we want to make sure that um, we add the two onwards or actually let's see um values do not exceed two so okay so if the limit is greater than or equal to two we want to make sure that we do sum equals sum plus b because remember two is the first um number the first even number in the fibonacci sequence and we only want to do that if the upper limit is greater than two or equal to two greater than or equal to two okay so what we want to do here is basically we want to run a while loop to keep generating new Fibonacci numbers. And the stopping condition, remember, is that um, the values do not exceed n right here. So we wanna say that while c, because c will be the number that's, c will be the variable that will be, that will be where the newly generated numbers first get stored. And we wanna make sure that while c is less than or equal to, because it says it uh, doesn't, do not exceed, so it's less than or equal to, and the limit like this. And what we want to keep doing here is we want to say something like C equals A plus B like this. And then, so C will become A plus B. And then what we want to do is, so we've generated a new term now. And what we want to do is check if that's even. So if we say if C percentage two is equal to zero. So if we divide C by two or the new term by two, 
and um, the remainder is zero, so that means it's even. What we want to do is say sum equals sum plus c. So we want to add c to the sum. So what we've essentially done here is generated the next term in the Fibonacci sequence, and if it was even, we've added it to sum right here. So now we need to prepare to move the variables along. So what we want to do here is we want to say um, a equals b. So we want to shift a to the right by one. And remember, a and b are adjacent to each other. And we want to shift b to the right by one as well. So we want to say b equals c like this. So again, what it does is if a was 3 and b was 5 and c was the result 8, we said that um, a equals b, so a now becomes 5. And we said b equals c, so b now becomes 8. And then the new c will be 5 plus 8 equals 13 and so on. So we've shifted it along like this. And um, so let's try it with those now. I'm not sure if it works yet. Um, what, I, what we can also do here is at the start, uh, we can just console.log in B, just so we can read all the Fibonacci numbers that we generate. This is just for clarity, you don't need to do this. Um, so let's try running this. So if we do this now, um, yeah, I'm not too sure if that's worked. Uh, we have 1 and 2 being generated, and then we should have c equals a plus b, which is not being generated. Um, oh, we need to initialize c um, to a... Let's just initialize it to 0 to start off with. It doesn't really matter. Um, as long as it's under limit, it's because this while loop wasn't working because C was um, undefined and this part wasn't true. Um, so let's try this again. Yep, and we can see that it works correctly this time. Um, actually, I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm going to say while C is not uh, equal to undefined. So once C has been defined, so we can just do something like this. So one if c has been defined actually then no this while loop won't generate either ignore what i just said here and um, just go back to this so um, now we can see that we have all the fibonacci numbers generated and the two even ones here which is two and eight have been added together to get our result 10. let's try it with the other values now so let's try it with 34 so if we put 34 into here and um Let's run this. We should see that the result is 44, which is correct. Uh, let's try it with the next number, which is 60. And we can see the result is still 44. Um, 1000 should be 798, so let's try that. Seven nine eight, and then we have um one hundred thousand, which would be six zero six nine six. So let's try that. Yep, and finally we have um four million. I think was the last one. So yeah, that should be four six one three seven three two. So let's run this, and yeah, we can see four six one three seven three two right there. So we have a working solution. Again, what this starts, what this does is we have a sum variable that we add to and return at the end, and we start off with one and two, and um, this check is just to make sure that um, we only add two into the sum if the limit is greater than two. So if the limit was like one, for example, it'll be zero because two is above one. Um, and then what we do is we'll let c equal zero to start off with. And then while c is less than the limit value right here, we'll um, calculate the new number in the sequence, which and we assign that to c. Then uh, if c was even, we'll add it to the sum, and then we'll move the numbers along. So we'll move a along to the right by one and b along to the right by one. And then it will keep running over and over again until c crosses this limit right here. So yeah, that should be the solution to the uh, even Fibonacci numbers problem. So let's go ahead and submit that right there. And let's try running the tests. And fingers crossed, yep, that seems to have worked and we can go ahead and submit it and move on.